I don't think until high school I really realized gender equality was a problem. By now I had assumed the problem had been solved and that I was fully equal and that um, I'm part of this new generation of where women where we could say we're fully equal to men. And as I've grown, gone through college, started my career, I've realized that we're not. In high school when I wanted to take a computer science class, I was told the boys are probably better, so you should focus on things that you'd be good at. And it wasn't until I got to college where I really started to actively challenge those assumptions and then discovered how much I like math and sciences and realized that I have the capacity to not only do well in these classes, but use this education to invent and create things myself. So in my junior year, um, me along with my other two co-founders started this company to uh, help healthcare workers around the world battle infectious diseases. The project was started in 2014 in response to the Ebola crisis in West Africa. So right now, the healthcare workers, they are wearing this big yellow suit called a PPE suit. Once you're done treating a patient, you are supposed to take off the suit. But before you do that, they spray you down with bleach to make sure there's no more bacteria or virus left on your suit. One of the biggest problems with the Ebola crisis is there was such a high rate of infection for healthcare workers. And a lot of that was from ineffective decontamination. So our idea was initially to colorize the solution. So you could see where you're spraying the transparent disinfectant bleach and therefore have a good idea of what services you've covered and what services you haven't. We also learned that bleach needs to remain on the surface for 10 minutes for the pathogen to be killed. So we also added a color marker that would tell you when you can take off the suit. So the cool thing about the color is that once it's completely faded to clear, you'll know that you, don't, you can touch the surface and it'll be safe to touch. Um, and while it's still blue, you'll know that it still has active pathogens on it. As a scientist, I do think we have a responsibility to make a larger impact in society beyond the research that we're doing. You know, really taking part actively in discussions. Not only about science-related issues, but everything, ranging from education to women's rights. Um, we should have a much bigger footprint. I'm always excited to talk to female innovators who move along in the same path. We need more Katrina. Katrina can be a role model for so many girls uh, around the world. We have to talk about the achievements. How great are women in science? How much they contributed to the development of this world? And this is why we have the International Day of Women and Girls in Science, to recognize the achievements. There are a lot of still implicit powers that are holding women back, whether it be the snide comments like women aren't good at math and science, or actual things where you see women earn less than men, or women are less likely to get certain jobs. And I think it's, it's really sad that we've already lost the potential on so many women who have come before me. And I want to make sure that my potential and the potentials of my peers and other women of my generation will be fully realized.